and it's a global warming what is global warming actually some of us don't know what is the real effect of the global warming actually global warming is if uh, the scientists have calculated that if the temperature of the entire earth will rise by 1.0 degree celsius by another 30 days what are the efforts will happen if we do, does not have any concern about the environment definitely the temperature will rise by 2 degree celsius by within another 30 year the what is the things will happen you may don't know what is the things the thing, first one the snow will melt then the uh, climate change will occur the entire coastal zone will affect then the same way if the temperature rise what will happen definitely we are also Uh, affecting the reason is the ozone layer depletion due to climate change we can't able to get a proper bo- uh, foods and in the same way the food chain also affected by pesticides and some kind of insecticides so the only uh, way to uh, avoid these things is only the sustainability thing the sustainability is a final one to save you all okay uh, first of all uh, you just need to know uh, how the countries are having concern about enorm first uh, if in if anything is happen our first concern about is us only if you take us uh, in the last sabha uh, they released about 37 billion uh, dollar for only for climate change fund the fund is only going to spend on how we are going to retrieve the old climate actually everyone is talking about what is net zero how can we going to achieve net zero how can you going to avoid the carbon okay so in the part of this the recent uh, well known terms are esg and sdg actually esg is a uh, environment social governance actually in this uh, entire uh, seminar webinar we are going to cover uh, the overview about esg and sdg and how the both are interlinked uh, the first one uh, this is esg some of them uh, are working in corporate uh, exchange okay definitely the corporate world you are definitely come across the world of sdg reporting and esg reporting and csr the corporate social responsibility actually it's a top most form of csr and your environment environment social governance actually why the esg is most wanted now actually the first reason esg is most wanted is if you go with uh, any buyer or uh, someone actually the buyer will simply ask uh, what is your esg report how you concern about enormous the reason is if you invested in a tobacco industry uh, what will happen sometimes the government will take a decision to ban the tobacco and because the reason is the tobacco is going to a uh, major threat for the human society and everything so this kind of things how they are eradicated and how they have a concern about an environment and everything okay I uh, hope uh, is it uh, audible to you all can you please uh, someone answer yes, from the audio chat can you please chat uh, is it audible yes very much audible uh, hearing aids hope uh, we got answer from uh, audience itself it's okay okay uh, let's uh, travel into esg again actually the esg is a most wanted thing for investor side and the stakeholder side the reason is actually everyone is thinking about how your product and how your process and your company have a concern about environment social and governance the environmental part we already aware about how if you, someone is making shoe means how they are uh, how they are uh, have a concern about environment how they treat their waste how they treat their uh, liquid waste and solid waste and how they uh, maintain the air pollution and everything you need to tell actually this is the esg the main issue is from the process oriented how your process or product have a negative or positive impact on the uh, our active environment okay then uh, then what is a major uh, another point the ma- the thing is the esg report is a simple framework or tool just to our about how much score or how much you are concern about environment will be clearly shown the main thing is the esg report is a transparency one what are the data you are given here will be totally transparent everyone who want to invested or who already invested who are in a stakeholder everyone will aware about uh, for example if the listed company in a share market and a public limited companies have mandatory to uh, report their environment and uh, social and governance report 
the report is already available in their website in the sustainability part actually the esg is a framework and the esg is a main reason for the investment related ideas uh, for example if you go with any kind of investor about a crore or a minimum investor they simply ask what is the esg actually esg is playing a major role in how much they are going to invest here. actually two equally uh, profitable company and two equally size in company and same growth rate but the investor will choose where they are going to invest the investor will definitely choose where who is having more concern about environment and social the reason is uh, if you are polluting the environment continuously means definitely uh, there is a impact on your workers and yourself and everyone because there is something called a triple bottom line the triple bottom line is like that uh, people profit uh, profit planet actually if you make something bad to the environment means definitely it will affect the people also then what will affect definitely your profit will affect it. the triple bottom line is interlinked with lead and any sustainable rating system in the same way the investor also think in the same way also okay first uh, what are the factor uh, we have to consider in the uh, environment you know the first thing is climate change we already explained about the climate change actually climate change will uh, will give a bad effects uh, for example if the climate is change means the first affected thing is uh, the crops if the crops is affected we will uh, going to put inefficient inefficient what will happen definitely the new uh, the enough amount of nutrients we can't able to get in some cases if we got yen uh, we got we will produce more food mean definitely we will export and around the world everyone will be hungry free but if you don't get enough amount of food for yourself means what will take you will invest some amount and purchase a food what will happen definitely the poverty will happen the poverty and the hunger is the most uh, and the worst thing in our entire world is threatening the whole world the reason is there are more inequalities and if you don't have enough food available in the world means we can't able to feed everyone okay actually in every country and the united nations is having concern about we need to eradicate the poverty and the hunger okay then the what is the reasons and what are the sources for the climate change the first one is a greenhouse gas emission actually where the greenhouse gas will emit definitely from ourselves only how actually if you construct a industry what will happen definitely you are going to purchase something and you are constructed Uh, the material at the time of uh, making the material at the time of traveling at the time of construction at the time of uh, demolition every time the carbon is involved actually this is the embodied carbon for example if you going to buy a tile how what will happen the tile raw material will be excavated from some mines so uh, here there is a diesel usage it will also harm uh, it will also release co2 then what will happen again there is a uh, air pollution then there is a climate change in the same way the resource depletion actually uh, the recent words are reuse and uh, recycle actually if you use this word in your real life and implement the same for example if you going to rent a home or for example it sectors are going to have a agreement of 5 years only if they after the 5 year what will happen the entire interior fitouts will be collapsed and they will make a new one instead of that they will make a more uh, agreement lengthy agreement mean what will happen definitely you are going to use the same space for 20 to 25 years means definitely there is no need of new materials or else you may use the material to reuse and the another issue is waste and pollution actually waste is uh, created from more forms actually the best source for waste is you need to make it as a closed loop for example if in a site you are uh, having enough amount of food waste means you may produce a bio bio gases or you may use uh, food as uh, feed for some animals these kind of things are need to be done in your site in the same way the water waste have more technology now the zero discharge scps or cv uh, treatment plant effluent treatment plant are there you need to install this thing to avoid this then deforestation actually whenever you are going to build a new facility outside a town or in a new land definitely you are going to start a deforestation then deforestation not only for construction if you want to purchase a uh, new material or anything definitely the deforestation is again occur because if once you uh, want to uh, build a construction what will happen definitely you are going to buy a brick or you are definitely going to buy a new furniture then the forest is going to we are going to uh, we are going to uh, again affect the forest only 
so then the esg second factor is a social factors actually the social factors are uh, how the working conditions are available for example uh, the working conditions means not only the working place uh, the working conditions and the mindset and the economic background of the workers okay so you need to give enough uh, a nice environment to work then only you can accept a high level of productivity how the env- the company is concerned about the workers health and safety these kind of things are concerned work condition then local communities actually when there is a factory in a area or there is a it company in a area the rural ec- the economy around the factory and the cities will definitely going to grow so so when you are going to take employee means you just need to give a extra uh, consideration for local talents then the local community will develop in economic and social way then conflict of area regions actually the conflict of regions is like that uh, what is their policy for taking a employees it's related to uh, politics and everything then the health and safety is already discussed then the employee relation and diversity actually the employee relation and diversity is uh, looking like a simple term but it have more meaningful thing actually the employee relation is the employee has to be uh, get the proper respect from the management and everyone the, what are the work they irrespective of what are the work they do we need to give a proper respect and proper salary the diversity means it have many uh, thing included it's like that women empowerment and the local talents empowerment everything will be come in diversity so the next one is uh, so the factor of governance actually it's uh, entirely related to the uh, only the company how the company's pays are available whether they are being uh, pay up to the market salary and how how the company's corruption uh, free and other things how the company is giving donation to political parties and is there any political related uh, incentives uh, coming how their thing then the board diversity and structure is like that for example is there a company the company not just involve uh, the people from the same industry or the company need to involve the involve the Uh, union leaders and the local peoples and who are the workers and these kind of things in the board then only you can get a diversified answers and you can know the problems of the workers and everything second one is just tax strategy is like that how the company is paying the tax for the, uh, the government is there any issue for the managing the tax uh, then the procurement actually the procurement is like that if the company is purchasing uh, anything related to uh, workers or a process they need to have a consideration about sustainability for example the company is having more amount of waste water producing means they need to split their waste water in the same way if the company is purchasing the some wood material means if they are purchase a bamboo as a furniture the bamboo is a rapidly renewable material if they are purchasing some costly wood it will take 40 to 60 years to grow means it's not a sustainable procurement so these kind of factors are considered here so in fine uh, how the esg report is coming into part the first the evaluation is like that first uh, the first one is the environment health and safety actually the environment health and safety uh, this is a term you already aware about your college days because in, if you go to any factory they simply ask what is your iso standard and how you are maintaining health and safety of the workers then after that if we, we can come to the note csr activity csr activity is corporate social responsibility and corporate sustainability actually the corporate social responsibility is like that how the company is having concern about the employees and around the uh, social people actually the company is located in a village around the village how they are developing the infrastructure how they are empowering them this kind of features are come after that there is something called eco efficiency actually you already know the word sustainability lead well everything actually these kind of things are comes around the 2000 so last two decades lead and green standards are there they are totally have a concern about environment uh, this is clearly come to that in the last of 20th and 21 first of 21 century only everyone will come to know about the environment because first they are say, uh, thinking about health and safety second they are thinking about social in 19 to 2000 only they come to know the eco efficiency the eco efficiency is nothing but having a concern about the environment then only they come to know over some depletion global warming this kind of after the 2000 and 2005 the esg will come esg have the holistic approach esg have environment factor the eco efficiency then the corporate uh, uh, social responsibility the ssc the g is a governance okay let's uh, move on to the next actually this is how the esg is 
progress the first one is the world is changing the world is changing means how means actually the world now the corporate is uh, the corporate and the countries are first to think about the economy 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 now everyone have a concern about the environment the reason is uh, in the meantime everyone is come to know if we pollute the environment in the same way within a 30 days the earth is not able to living country for us we need to find another country so everyone have a concern about so the world is now changing second transform the transforming from the inside for the outside uh, actually this is like that actually there is a process happen in a factory in a factory if you have more concern about environment and you do not pollute pollute anything and you are giving a positive impact in environment what will happen the outside environment also change because there is nothing bad happen in a forest the entire thing already polluted or effect the affected things happen only in the cities and the manufacturing zone and the pe- where there is a people activity here there is a definitely there is a issue for the environment so whether you are changing your side at the inside of the factory inside of your home definitely the outside will change for example i will tell you actually if you assume that there is a 1 crore people living in a country everyone will consume 5 liter more water means what will happen 5 crore of liter will taken from the ground and return to atmosphere instead of that if everyone will consume 5 liters of water reduced from their base case or the real time means what will happen the amount of energy they spend to lift the water from ground or taking from your uh, outside some to your inside cabin in the same time the 5 crores of liter also avoided and reduced it's called source reduction this kind of techniques you need to do then what is that that is called a strategy lead action plan actually strategy lead action plan is nothing but actually based on industry and based on the cities and based on the area the action plan will change because same kind of strategy will cannot work for a it industry and a tire manufacturing so both of them have a you need to follow a different strategy okay then the measure of transparency actually in a Yeah. whenever you are going to give your sustainability reporting or esg reporting you need to give all the details you can't able to give this kind of details and then the, if you give any proxy details definitely it's really a big legally actions uh, legal issues so you need to give a transparency about how you are having concern about environment how you are giving a positive impact to environment in the same way you need to give your negative impacts also in stage for example Uh, no one is easily just tell that we are also carbon free or we are carbon neutral you need to provide a data or else we are going to carbon free by 2050 or 2030 so then how you are go- setting your goals how you are uh, take it forward everything will be come under your sustainability report or esg report these are the transfer then there are new generation of stakeholders who having a more concern about environment uh, the new uh, engineers and the new owners and new managing director who already have a enough amount of data and enough knowledge and awareness about environment social and how the esg report will making an impact everything will be come under this and then we are just uh, connecting something uh, called esg and sdg actually esg is a environment social and governance to sdg is a sustainable development goals actually the sustainable development and goals are developed in 2015 actually these are the sustainable development uh, 15 goals the schools are developed in by united nation in the year of 2015 actually this goals are setted with a target the target is 2030 uh, actually this is a goals uh, actually the 17 goals you already an hour about that because uh, uh, every officers and elite credits and well rating system sustainable everyone will be mapping that actually the poverty hunger good health and well being quality education generally good there are 17 goals totally 17 goals the 17 goals they are going to uh, meet the target by the end of 2030 there are some internal target additional targets there are 17 goals with 169 targets are in place so how the uh, 17 goals are uh, come into place the first one is a planet because we i already tell planet people profit everything is interconnected in the same way the 17 goals are Uh, having a different intent uh, some of our multi intent some of our single intent the first one is having a plant first because if there is a plant then only we can existing we are making money we are making fun everything if there is no plant we are also not there so the first concern is about planet then once the planet is available then what will be need the people is needed if there is no people 
and you know they will be happy but we are not there so the next one is prosperity prosperity is like a sustainability and we need we are using our you are using natural resources and we need to leave it as uh, possible as to your future generation next one is partnership the partnership is having a different concern we need to have a partnership for uh, making the sustainable goals as uh, as well as possible in the same way uh, the developing countries need to invest in uh, undeveloped countries and uh, developing countries to make them uh, empowerment their people and everything then the peace actually the peace is a real one uh, these things all things are available if there is no peace like there is a war happened between ukraine and russia if this kind of things will happen what will happen definitely the peoples of both the countries will affect in the same way all other countries are affected in the fuel prices and some other issues okay uh, actually this is a major topic next we are going to explain the 17 sustainable goals and what are the target associated with it. we will go with in a fast forward way actually first one is a poverty actually poverty we are already know about that the poverty is like that poverty is not about just hunger you need a proper home for the shelter and you need a proper food proper job and proper respect everything will be come under poverty uh, the aim is by reducing 50 percentage of the poverty and reducing extreme poverty and the, to equal rights to everyone because the person who not in poverty will know what are the rights they have if you are in poverty you can't be able to ask someone where is my rights or you can't de- directly go and claim something you just uh, like that uh, you you want you want food for uh, you will depend food uh, you will depend someone for food someone for shelter someone for job in what will happen you don't have a ri- proper rights so if you want to claim your rights you need the basic features then uh, how we need to avoid poverty to avoid poverty you need something called if there is a disaster will happen the disaster is not only a normal disaster for example there is a social disaster it's called a covid 19 the covid 19 happens you don't know uh, we can't able to count how many people will affected in a healthy and a economic way we can't able to come back till now there are impacts are still there in many uh, medium and uh, small industries these kind of things are avoided by a resilience feature to actually to plan a disaster management how if there is a disaster related to environment or economic or social happen how we are going to avoid these things are we need to capture then hunger actually the hunger how we are going to avoid hunger we can't able to just give up food and avoid hunger but there is a intent but you need to produce a maximum amount of food and the food supposed to be not in amount only it's supposed to be good in nutrients also because if you take uh, some uh, countries in nigeria countries like nigeria and some some uh, west and uh, east of uh, some west and north parts of india the people sir still struggling a uh, mal nutrition and nutritional inefficiency to avoid that you need to uh, double your production and give them to all around the country actually this is not only india not only us actually the sustainable development goals are developed for the entire uh, countries all around the world uh, this is happened okay so what are the things you need to consider at a time of hunger you just need to give a food to nearest people who are in poverty you just need to think in a broad way the broad way means the, where there is a food the food is come from only agriculture so you need to invest more on agriculture in technology infrastructure and how to avoid uh, di- diseases and uh, diseases in uh, sorry uh, some diseases in the, uh, food related crops so you need to avoid all then you need to have a proper knowledge about how to avoid this kind of disaster in food industry okay then wait then the good health and well being actually why this uh, things are comes actually health and well being have a different concerns health and well being is like that who are living in a environment have a good health and well being because if you have a good health means definitely you are not going to affected by any disease if you are going to not affected by any disease what will happen you don't need to be economically uh, you, you will be freedom economically then what will happen you will claim your rights you are not going to poverty or hunger so this is a major thing you need to provide a proper health and well being actually the major issues uh, we are going to uh, we are going to handle and eradicate is first one is uh, at the time of uh, maternity death actually now there are some maternity death that happened due to uh, lack of uh, hospital facility and lack of knowledge and lack of uh, economic 
and they don't have a economically strong so they not going to not able to go for a, a correct hospital or a correct treatment so here the entire government and the world will have a concern about that in the same way there are two mortality the mortality is the just born childs are having a mortality rate we need to eradicate in the same way in the one year to five year there is a uh, children's death are still there the reason is malnutrition and there are uh, some internal diseases like fast moving uh, insects related diseases happen so we need to eradicate these things also so how to eradicate this you need to uh, avoid the climate change if you avoid the climate change what will happen definitely there is no chances of spreadable diseases if you are avoiding the spreadable diseases definitely the workers are well being in the same way we need to give proper uh, injections like covid uh, now the entire country is having a more concern about covid and to avoid this they are giving a covid uh, uh, injections this kind of uh, remediation measures are they need to happen okay then in the same way the country is supposed to be live peacefully like they need to avoid uh, they need to spread this peace instead of uh, giving a horses to actually in a country there are something happened it's a human harassment and there are some inequality everyone there Th- these all the things are comes under the well being the well being is not just their health only the well being it's cover their mental health also the mental health and the hood health is both needed then quality education actually every country is also working on that uh, in a countries like uh, india are all having uh, the first uh, up to the 10th a uh, 10th standard the educations are free in government school and the educations are not only free is not needed the education may be in a affordable range but it's supposed to be give it in a sustainable manner because school is the first place where we are need to yeah, implement the sustainability things and we need to give a proper awareness about sustainability then the people who are studying need to know what are the basic rights they have and what are the the basic issues they are falling how to avoid this how to empower the women and how to empower the local people this kind of things are need to covered in a different way they need proper facility of educations i'll just like that lab and infrastructures in the same way we need additional thing everyone must have access to the education in a previous years about 300 to uh, before 300 to 400 years no one is able to study now the condition is changing because every place there is a casteism and racism this kind of issues are there now i think everyone is aware that how are some things are available in this place so these kind of things are avoided and we need quality education and education also these are the topic here the women empowerment also the main uh, target then the gender equality actually this is uh, the problem uh, is also having a tendency sorry actually this is a major issue it's uh, need some kind of mental behavior also human behavior also for example uh, in a recent survey told that if a man is earning the for the same work 100 rupees man the woman will earning only 80 rupees so these kind of issues are supposed to be avoided so there is we need a equal salary for the equal positions we can't be able to uh, treat them as a gender uh we can't able to this give salary this kind of things okay in the same way in the gender equality you need to give a proper rights and financial services in the same way you need to provide a support the support is like that if there is a maternity leave this kind of leaves are provided and there is some supports related to bind related supports if there is a woman who is cannot able to come for after marriage means we need to give a proper support the support must be come from the company itself then only it's have a greater things in the same way the women need a rights about their health and the reproductive uh, reproductive issues and the sexual things the all the things women need a rights to take a decision this is a major one because in the current world the women are not having a rights to take a decisions on reproduction and everything so so this is clean water actually the clean water is uh, having two things first one everyone need a uh, clean water and the thing is you don't need to pollute the water actually uh, in the world there is a 97 percentage of having water but we are only having 1 to 1.1 percentage of drinkable water so this kind of water must be handled properly you just need to follow the 3r principle first of, first of all 
you need to reduce the watery consumption for unavoidable reasons and another way you don't pollute the water and just like that if you are having a factory and release your waste water to river stream and release your waste water of your home to a river then what will happen definitely the water environment will pollute it then what will happen definitely we call able to get a clean water and sanitation these kind of topics are come here so we need to treat the ecosystem actually the marine ecosystem and the river ecosystem everything you need to treat as a uh, good manner then only you can get a clean water the sanitation also comes in the same way if you pollute the water what will happen the water will pollute the water pollution will happen then what will happen again there is a uh, water related disease will come so to avoid this you need to uh, avoid you need to prevent from the source itself then affordable and clean energy the affordable word is uh, clearly mentioned that the energy sources like natural gas and uh, diesel and uh, electricity everything must comes in a affordable price not in a overpriced in some countries the government have a concern about or go the government having a some power about fixing the prices of uh, electricity and uh, gas and resources in the same way you need to have a concern like that you need to provide a clean energy actually clean energy is like that if you are using a diesel generator definitely is a dirty energy if you are using a coal definitely is a dirty then the thing is two thing first you are depleting a non renewable source in additional way you are polluting the entire thing so in this kind if you are using a tg there is no other option means you just need to treat your waste uh, air the the heat air the air come from the uh, the emission the emission supposed to be treated in a well manner and avoid the air pollution these kind of things are comes under affordable and clean energy and there are some countries like china india news everyone have a concern about having a net zero carbon actually the clean energy is like that you don't need to be emit any amount of carbon into environment at the time of producing energy this is called clean energy is some examples are solar power wind power tidal and some piezo electric some later technologies are there then you you just need to think about that for example from here itself everyone is supposed to be think to install a solar panel in your rooftop or solar heater or solar stove for your cooking just think about that then the energy efficiency the energy efficiency also comes in some major part because i'm first of all i'm telling again and again the source reduction is the best technique so when you are producing the energy in a clean way means you can't able to use it as take it as granted you just need to reduce the consumption also so decent work and economic growth it's a word itself have a greater meaning uh, the decent work and economic growth means the work supposed to be uh, the worker supposed to be treated in a respected manner and they need to give a proper salary everything will come in the same way the women empowerment also come here because whether is a woman or a man or what is his caste what is his race nothing is needed at the time of uh, work and economic growth so they need to give a proper decent work salary and economic growth possibility these kind of things are considered in that then industry innovation and infrastructure uh, actually if you see the word the industry innovation and infrastructure actually the infrastructure means the industries and the things which are must capable of managing natural or social disasters for example if you are going to build a industry the industry is supposed to be uh, prevent themselves from earthquake or storm everything so these kind of things are comes under infrastructure the innovation is like that actually you are using a material and you are producing a waste if the same waste is using as a source material of your own process or you may reuse it and use it mean which comes under innovation uh, actually the, then the industry the industry must have advanced technologies to avoid the uh, the advanced technology to reduce the water and energy consumption then this is uh, inequalities the inequalities are just nothing but actually if you take a word first three percentage of the entire world people having 97 percentage of the wealth these things are supposed to be reduced how means in a organization yourself you need to prefer for local talents you don't need to follow anything for gender equal gender inequality in the same way you need to avoid the racism casteism these kind of things then you are going to give a jobs to local peoples and where there is a job people who are having a able to do the job if you are giving a job to them definitely they are also growth what will happen the company also growth then the inequality will reduce in a, some percentage okay it's not able to 
take in a same next time so we need to do it in a continuous way you need to give a job to all the peoples you need to diversify your portfolio for our investment and diversify your workers like that just we are only taking this from this college from this industry from this country you need to give a jobs to all the countries all the peoples all the genders all the races everything then only you will get a greater results then the sustainability uh, sustainable cities and communities actually the cities are planned in a well manner like that the uh, cities are planned in outer and the peoples in the villages move to city and they are living the life but the cities are not make them in a sustainable manner the sustainable manner means uh, actually the cities are having content like that they do, there is no space for creating a single building because the cities are already overpopulated so cities are need to spread that and supposed to be avoided the sustainable related issues and uh, it's need a actually the city the villages are need to be cities then it's uh, supposed to be resilient the resilient means uh, already i told about that resilient means you need to do the buildings like your future also it's not only the buildings and the cities you you need to concern about the future expansion and how the another 30 years will be you need to consider all the things and you need to provide a proper infrastructure and the infrastructure must be concern about the environment also then the next one is responsible consumption and production uh, actually it's having a two parts the first one is the responsible consumption means the consumption of how the consumption of energy on water and natural resources also actually if you want to build a new home we are if you already have a home mean what we'll do if it you don't build a new home that is what the solution the thing is actually you are having a home if you're going to new home what will happen you are going to depreciate the natural resources just like that sand and the wood and the raw materials so just avoid that then another thing is at the time of renovation and everything you need to have a concern about recycling reuse for example if you are having a home you are going to rebuild it by demolish after at the time of demolition you try to utilize what are the possible reuse materials you just need to do that actually then there is a climate action actually the climate action is first of all we discussed actually the way there is a climate change the climate change is happen due to ocean dry depletion and there is a global warming the both are the major concern about air pollution and water pollution only so the main factor is greenhouse gases if you avoid greenhouse gases and build more trees actually trees are consuming taking co2 into them and release co2 if you are building more trees what will happen the climate also reverse the global warming will decrease the uh, actually in the 30 years the scientists are think that the, the the entire earth will be warm by another 1.5 degree celsius if you are building more trees and you are don't deplete any natural resources and you are uh, having a more concern about the clean energy and other sustainable do definitely the climate will change if the climate is changing in a positive event definitely we will get a greater benefit but instead of that if the climate is changing in a wrong way means the temperature will rise by 2 degrees celsius the entire coastal zones will be eradicated the forests are, uh, are the forests are already having a more effect by the humans then the entire forest will be vanished how means there is no rain because there is a climate change there is a huge a huge heat due to excessive heat what will happen in a london the homes are burning in the same way the forest fires will happen so to avoid this you need to have a more concern about environment and avoid air pollution in all sectors to you need to have a, a proper uh, conscious consumption and have a conscious generation on energy then this is live flow but actually uh, in uh, social media you can easily come to that if you take a fish uh, the largest fishes uh, just uh, open their body at the time of post mortem they have come to know there is lot of plastic and some other waste because lot of uh, yeah, animals and uh, species are available in a sea and a aquatic environment the aquatic environment is greatly affected by peoples with plastic and other kind of waste so kindly avoid that to avoid that uh, you can uh, you just uh, don't need to uh, do anything we, if you don't do anything to coastal environment and marine I mean definitely it will re reassemble and take it to the ocean into back 
So first thing is you just need to avoid the wastes, your waste water or your waste solid waste supposed to be pre, uh, supposed to be uh, stopped before the ocean. The thing is you can't able to stop before the ocean. You need to treat in your home itself, or you need to treat by recycler or handler, and to prevent the ozone environment. This is a goal. Then there is a life on land. Actually, from the word life on land, look like that. It's like that ourselves. It's not like that. Actually, it's a life of peoples who are. It's a life of species and animals who are live in forest because there is a forest environment is there. The forest environment is having uh, always a uh, de eradicate. eradicated by uh, cutting trees and the global warming thing so you need to avoid this thing first of all please uh, plant a tree and make more forests like that miyawaki forest this kind of tree then only the biodiversity available in a forest will encroach in the same way what will happen if the forest is available in a higher range mean definitely the carbon also get absorbed then the greenhouse gas effect will be avoided then the same way the climate change also the climate change and the global warming everything will be uh, prevented uh, sorry uh, every efforts are neutralized then peace justice strong actually the word itself have a meaning the countries and the institution and the peoples need to have clear justice and peace uh, it's like that to avoid the war and spread the peace around the religions around the caste everything you just need to uh, peace actually this is not only ours the peoples the government and the countries and the institution everyone need to do that then the last one is partnership for the goals actually the partnership go- goals have two uh, aims first one the aim of ourselves to join hands to get uh, pa- to make all the sustainable development goals as possible then the second one is the partnership of developed countries and developing or undeveloped countries actually the countries of developed countries they need to establish their business into the developing countries and undeveloped countries in at that time you need to maintain a great sustainability you just uh, taking a place of a country you can't be able to pollute the country of country you just need to have a more concern about environment and everything then only it will give a greater effect then the partnership also have encourage the institutions Uh, the in, the institution supposed to be encourage the peoples on sustainable development goals then the country need to have a steps towards the sustainable development goals to have a partnership for doing a business in a moral way ethical way and a sustainable manner these are the goals so this is a conclusion part actually in the conclusion part uh, we are easy to conclude the planet society and governments this is how the esg and sdgs aligned uh, in here there are some i am first Uh, first itself i have told that uh, some of the sdg hall have a single intent some of them have a multi intent so the multi intents are available in a center so single intent are available in a, uh, each part so you can easily conclude because uh, clean energy and climate action life on land blow life below water resource consumption everywhere comes under plant at the same time the water and sustainable cities and industry innovation it will come under society and everything but here the major issue uh, whenever we saw the esg report no one is having uh, find out or concern about poverty and hunger because this is a major issues in undeveloping countries this is a major reasons for many problems and mortality and everything so the institution and ourselves have a concern about to avoiding the poverty by and hunger not only just uh, feed the local peoples or uh, poor peoples you need to have educational revolution in uh, and the agriculture revolution then only you can eradicate the poverty and hunger then the last one is government and public sector uh, i already told that the peace justice strong institutions and partnership this kind of things are come from only the uh, industries not only industries the governments and the countries will take action okay uh, then finally uh, simple definition about esg actually esg Uh, there is no global definition and framework actually when you are doing esg you may follow sdg goals you may follow uh, sacs go- sas uh, sc goals or you may just follow uh, integrated reporting goals you may follow the standard okay and there is no target or in direct it's about how you are having a concern about environment what is the internal target you are there is no fixed target and there is no standardized metrics for example things are changes for each company to company sector to sector and industry to industry so there is no standard metrics 
and there is uh, the mapping of technology would be very vague the thing is you need to uh, have a concern or you need to have a idea about what are the things we need to do what are the uh, things we need to uh, we need to give us input in a esg report then sdg actually sdg is a global regulatory framework and accepted by all the countries and there is the goal have a target proper target the target is 2030 and there are 17 goals with internal each have a 3 to 19 targets so totally 169 target then the mapping technology is easy because what are the things they are covered what are the things it's not covered everything is but in that the esg and sdg is how they are again align means at the time of reporting your esg you just need to quote what are the sustainable goals and what are the steps you are taking into a reach the sustainable goal because every institution does not have same goals so in the sdg 17 sdg goals uh, the esg report will take what are the possible and what are the steps they are taking into their esg report this is a final verdict uh, thanks for all the participants then there is a reminder uh, actually i saw that uh, the zoom participant names are something like that uh, what they want because we are going to issue a certificate at the time of issuing a certificate we just need your proper name and other detail so kindly ping your uh, details or just to change your uh, zoom uh, participant names then we will issue a certificate and uh, we are also conducting webinars uh, continuously because the sustainability is our motto to making all the world as carbon free to avoid the global warming is our uh, final verdict okay so as a part of that we are trying to make you enrich and uh, awareness about sustainability it's really i am thank you again regarding the same then the video will be available by our youtube channel and the link will be provided for you by linkedin thanks again bye